Welcome to the EV Show. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at this 1975 Porsche 914. And we're going to put a Tesla Model 3 motor into this using a subframe that we're going to build right here in the shop. So let's go take a look. The classic conversion from about 12 years ago, Electro Automotive did the conversion for some doctor in Grants Pass, Oregon. He uh, got into a divorce and this went into storage for a decade. And then he put it up for sale recently and um, the guy went in and he took all the boxes out, cleaned it all out, put them all back in. And once he saw the wiring, he went like, oh, this is beyond me. And it, two weeks later, decides to sell it, puts it up on, on Craigslist. A couple of uh, buddies here in the shop independently texted me the link. And when they came back from lunch, I was already talking to them on the phone. So this, these were 12 uh, lead acid batteries. This is like a really old school charger right here. So you had lead acid batteries. You had 12 of them. You had the rest of them back here. Yeah, so you do the math, 12 times 70 pounds a piece. So, I don't know, I'm not sure, but I think the suspension has been beefed up. I might have to soften it up a bit. And this is the controller, Acer Dynamics. So, you know, I don't, I don't wanna cast dispersions and say bad things, like my mom told me not to, but, this is the one I steered away from because uh, when I was doing my original conversion, I was paying attention to the people using this motor and there were just tons of problems and issues and people were pulling their hair out because they couldn't get the power out of it that they wanted. So this is all coming out. And what we're gonna do is put a Tesla Model 3 motor right under here. And then uh, that leaves plenty of room right up here because the motor is going to be here. That leaves the entire engine bay open for batteries. And then in front. So I'll probably split the pack in half. And uh, Johnny and I are here talking about Samsung i3 batteries rather than uh, LG chems. But I think you should keep it lead acid. I always listen to what he says. Always. So this is not the original color of the car. If you look right here around the windshield, you can see this was Olympic blue. That was the original Porsche color. And this has been repainted copper metallic. So I like it. What do you think? Tell us in the comments. This is old school. This is like 10 years ago, 12 years ago. This was like a state of the art EV conversion. And a lot of people were choosing the 914 because you had all this room in the front, all that room in the back. You saw the controller took up, you know, the back trunk. So, and look at this. You had to have these ventilation hoses for the boxes because lead acid, these batteries, you know, outgas. You had a place, had to have a place for the, the gas to go, for them to breathe. So this is gonna be fun, just tearing this all out. I love like stripping a, a nice car like this down to like the bones because uh, this one is really straight. It's in good shape. Body panels, it looks like there were some dings and some Bondo repair, but nothing, nothing big. And uh, rust free. Yeah, she winked at you. <laughs> Uh, look, she like you. She wink. <laughs> she wink. <laughs>